speaking of uh, eating lunch, <laughs> what a segue. Ooh, I was, was uh, the other day, so actually good. yesterday, I was I was out running some errands. I actually finally got my car registered in the state of California, which is a whole nother rant I could go on and how much, how expensive it is. Yeah. Long it, took enough. it took me a long time. It took Five me a long years? time. Oh, and so I paid heartily for my sins, hey, let me tell you. You'll adopt everything from California, right? Except the license plate. That's now. right, yeah, no. Yeah. You, can't, you can't take my PA license Get plate from me. Get the out of here. <laughs> but anyway, they just make it, they make it an expensive hassle. I mean, to be fair, I get it. There's a lot of people in California operating vehicles, but oh man. Anyway, so, but I was, I was out doing that and I was getting lunch at the same time. I was coming back and I'm and I'm turning right onto uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. Not that that really matters, but okay. I mean people we'll, can we'll come. We'll go with it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I look over and there, I, I see out of the corner, of the left side uh, of my eye, there's some large black man waving me, like cutting into my lane in a vehicle and like waving at me, like frantically. So I'm like, I don't know what you know. I don't know what happened. I my first thought is I'm going to die, but I hadn't even I hadn't even looked over. Anytime you know? I see a large black man, that's my first. Well, thought too. in LA, <laughs> yeah. like you know, I, I don't know. You know, <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, so I look over, oh, and no. it is no one True. other than Neil deGrasse Tyson in the car right next to him. Come on, boys. Yes. Of course, he gets excited. Neil? Yes. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Dry, I don't know. With with some, no, I'm 100% serious. I roll down my window, and I literally go, I go, Neil deGrasse Tyson? He's like, yeah. He's like, I was hoping you'd recognize me. He's like, I need a favor, man. I'm like, what? He's like, do you think we could get all the way over? Dude, I know you're not going to believe me. What? He's like, can I get all the way over? And I'm trying to take a right on Santa Monica. And I was like, I was like yeah, sure. So there was like a moment where the light hadn't changed yet. So literally I talked to him for like a minute and a half and uh -huh. he was like, how's your day going, man? I was like, oh, it's going good. But, it was but, like, <laughs> but this whole time you keep calling him Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yeah, deGrasse, oh. deGrasse. De 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 deGrasse. DeGrasse. I don't know. Well, You're referring to it. I, I even said it in private. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why he was like, like yeah. that's probably why he was like, uh. He's like, yeah, close enough. Well, I'll just let him go. He was like, whatever. Yeah. Isn't there an eye in it or some shit? In his name? No, DeGrasse Tyson. No, no. Why Neil. do I? Oh, I'm thinking Neil. Yeah. No, no, whatever. Degrasse. I don't know why. Yeah. Where I got the eye from? No, we had we had him. Uh, I got to shake his hand one time because he was he at was the at Comic Con. Comic Con. Yeah. That's what it was. Mm. No, he was really cool. It was just cool. It was such a random like the fact that I was at the intersection right next yeah. to him. It was cool. Yeah. That's uh, pretty Neil sad. DeGrasse. Neil DeGrasse. Real, real good friend of mine. So, did you get his number? No, I didn't get his number. I was literally, I almost thought about saying to him, I was going to be like, can I take, I was going to be such a, I was like, can I take a picture of this so I can post it on Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's such a horror. I was like, yeah, I can't do that. That's yeah, just totally. He would have let you do it. He would have, too. Yeah, but. I thought he was going to wave at you say, hey, aren't you APL from Team Respawn? Yeah, I know. I, I was Get me on radio. Yeah, I say, I say that. <laughs> well, I remember, though, like, there was a funny story after Comic Con because of that, because, like, Jordan had to drive him to the next thing. Oh, okay. And right, Jordan yeah. could tell that I was a big fan, mm. but I didn't want to, like, like, I I already shook the guy's hand. I didn't want to creep him out by then being in the car with him. Um, so then Jordan takes him. And I guess along the way, Neil deGrasse is like, oh, sorry, I got to pick up a friend. Would you mind if we just stop for a second so we can pick this person up? Yeah. So Jordan's like a affable dude. He just does it. And uh, turns out it was a hooker. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, it was, uh, it was Seth MacFarlane. Oh, oh man! <laughs> so oh, oh funny. God, that's and then, nice. And then along the way, they just talked about doing Cosmos, and you know that is their new plan for their new show. And I was like, I really wow, that was a good day to be his driver. You should have just yeah. jumped into the car. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that's awesome. No, he's a, he's a he's a cool dude, and uh, Brett interviewed him at uh, Comic Con, and he seemed really really cool too. So yeah, very down there, anyway, affable yeah. fellow, really he's good friend. There he is, man. Neil yeah. deGrasse. Neil deGrasse. <laughs> Out of all I don't know why. Man, like Neil DeGrasse. The only thing I can think of that was in my head is because there was a show called DeGrasse. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's like it's <laughs> like he's having trouble even. <laughs> you can't even handle that. I that I messed that up. I just think it's funny because it's like you know he's just like I don't know this kid kept calling me DeGrasse. Yeah, the whole time. I don't. It seems uh, like he kind of knew. He kind of recognized. It seems like Battery just assumed he was your. at the end of that that middle name, right? So he's probably. Got well, that more than a few It's either times. that or he just assumed you had like a weird accent. That could be too. Like, maybe I don't want. I, I don't want to. I don't want to think that he was judging me at all. I think he just had a great interaction with me. I don't think we need to go any deeper than that, Borif. So, yeah. did he school you on some kind of? Far. He didn't know. I was going to ask him. I, you know, it's like in that <laughs> moment. Very, oh, but I, I literally, <laughs> <laughs> I literally said to him, I was like, I was like, no one's going to believe me. I, and he, he laughed and he was like, yeah. He's like, he's like, well, you and me know. He's like, so that's good. That's good enough. That was nice of him. Yeah. So. He's a cool dude. There's uh, what celebrity has a has those business cards that he hands out that says yes. It says on there, I met so and so. Oh really? Is it, is it Neil Patrick it's Harris? Or no, somebody? it's not. It's older than that. I want to say it's like Chevy Chase or something. It's, I don't know. But, he's, uh, but on the card it says yes. This is uh, something about something along along the lines of uh, of like yes. It's this is proof that I met. That's so -and -so. cool. So you have money. So. He, 
passes them out, and then it's like yeah. show your friends for. We should make some for you. We should. We should. Yeah. 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 Is, that like, is that Bill Murray? All the people uh, that want Bill my card. Sounds like something Bill Murray would do. It might be Bill Murray. Because yeah. it's also kind of a lazy way out. Like you don't actually have to take a photo with someone. Yeah, you just hand them a card and be like, <laughs> like get no, out no, of no, my no. face. Yeah. No, no, no pictures. Yeah. Here you go. This was yeah. also on, speaking of Reddit, this. <laughs> this was on Reddit a while ago. Uh, there was a picture of Tom Hanks uh, oh, sitting yeah. next to that dude who's passed out. And apparently the dude obviously had a, had a drunken night, woke up and found these pictures of Tom Hanks <laughs> He's with his arm around him on his phone because I don't know what, what. I gotta be a buzzkill on that one. Oh, it's, it's, fake. Not, it's not it's true. It's fake. I, like, oh, like, I was thinking it, myself I when he put like a password on his phone or something. Right. Like, it doesn't really it. make sense. Yeah. I don't have a password on my phone. Well, what the, was the no, true story? Get, yeah. the, the true story is that he just walked up and like Tom Hanks was just like, sure, I'll take a bunch of photos with you. Like, you know, you right. got drunk and passed uh, out. Oh, okay. So he wanted to make him a story. I mean, it's still cool. that off. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's still cool because Tom Hanks was willing to like just do that for some random dude who wandered up to him. And anytime I see those long-winded stories on Facebook or something. Oh, that one. Yeah, it was on Facebook. Yeah, it's like I check yeah, scope yeah. like that. It's just like, like I know it's bullshit immediately. Scope? Is that what is Snopes. that? Snopes. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Not scope. <laughs> See, we all have, we all mess up. We all say. Uh, right. Yeah, now you guys are even <laughs> except for me. I said everything perfectly well, so you, far. Well, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your Indian heritage in you. Sure. Your upbringing. That's what it is. It's all Indian. <laughs> it's been race, race into the equation. I didn't mean to bring race into the equation, but I just no. meant that you guys dot your T's. You get really serious <laughs> about it. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys dot your T's and cross your eyes real good. Yeah, we. we I'm dot real learned. I'm a learned man. <laughs>I did, want to, I did want to get your guys' take on something. Uh, mm -hmm. We've talked about this a little bit, and Borif, I definitely want your take on it, because we don't get to eat lunch all that often together. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, paranormal paranormal things, you know that that's something that uh, Sark and I have made mentioned many times of that we are, yeah. we are always interested in that stuff. You guys, yeah, I'm into it. You guys were into pushing that whole, uh, you want to go out there and shoot a show out. Yeah, I want to go out to some haunted location, stuff. bring cameramen, get all the equipment, dude. Mm -hmm. And like do EVP stuff. Now I know you're, I can already see your skeptical face, Bor. Nope. But uh, I wanted to share an experience I had the other night, mm -hmm. which really isn't an experience. It yeah, probably was totally <laughs> not anything paranormal. But I had just gotten done uh, watching um, VHS uh, at home. Really, really scared the crap out of myself, <laughs> to be honest. I, I was, that. it was yeah, late yeah, at night. Yeah, I mean, it's really not, don't. it's not um, that scary. Some of the, they're just more disturbing yeah. than scary. But I was kind of, you know. Yeah, it was watching it by yourself. I was a little, I was a little freaked out. Mm -hmm. So it was like one o'clock at night, and I was just thinking to myself, I was like about to go to bed, but I was in that. You know how you get in that spook state after you watch something scary? You're just kind of like in the back of your mind. You're like, what if that shit actually? Happened? What if that actually that, that happened? happened to me with Mama? Like I kept like oh, I, got, Mama, I kept getting my yeah. feet up from underneath the bed because I was exactly. like exactly expecting yeah, to look yeah. down and see that yeah, face. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, nothing gets me, but that one got me a little bit. I'm glad yeah. that Mama yeah. got you like that. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so it was like one o'clock and. I'm sitting there, my door's open, you can see, you can see my kitchen uh, from, from my bedroom. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't know, I'm just browsing the internet or something. I hear, there's, there's dishes in the sink, I literally hear what sounds like a dish being picked up and dropped in the sink. It's like, like and it's loud. Mm -hmm. Rishi's asleep at this point, but I'm like, you know, and I'm already, I'm already all amped up, so I, it literally happens, I wish I could have had a camera on my face, because I was like, I literally looked like like dramatic groundhog or something. I was like, that can't be real. Yeah. So I literally stood up and I was like, uh, I have to go. I have to go see what that is. Like, I didn't really want to. My lights are on in my house. It's not even dark. I'm such a pussy. So I, so I like start walking. I start walking out and I'm like peering around the corner of, because uh, you, into my kitchen. And it happens, not the exact same noise, but it's, this time it sounds like a glass like shifted. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, maybe there's like, maybe we had mice or something. I don't know. Like, I've never seen one, but. You got roaches. Ro oh, we must be big roaches, dude. Lifting <laughs> plates up. Those are strong motherfuckers. Radioactive. Am I yeah. accidentally microwaving these you things? Got ants. Yeah. Yeah. Reason you got ants. Yeah. Really <laughs> big ants. I go over, and sure enough, there is a display. The dish, I mean, I, don't, I didn't memorize where the dirty dishes were, but it looked like a dish was like, Mm -hmm. Off shovel. So the only thing I can think of, it could be what you were saying, radioactive cockroaches. It could be mice. Uh, it could have been an earthquake that I didn't realize was happening, though I feel like I would have felt that. And it can't just be reasonably settling dishes. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't like misplaced in a way that. Could like, just no, I mean they were sitting. It, they were sitting on top, like the flat. Yeah. yeah it wasn't uh -huh. like there was like movement. I mean, so it was it was off kilter. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just think there's, uh, you know. I always take the simplest explanation. There must be a ghost, it's gotta be the ghost. that likes dishes, <laughs> and it's probably running. It's it's a reoccurring. Mm -hmm. What do they call that when the um, poltergeist? Uh, no, it's a different kind of haunting. God, I, I haven't watched Ghost Hunters in a while. Very very informative show. You should yeah. really check it out. Uh, um, oh, you're talking about that haunting. But the haunting's where it's like it's like it's like, like, it's it's like, like, like where it just replays the same thing over. Coincidence. And over. Yeah. 
That's the no, one. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, see, that's not what I know. Um, but Bullshit, that's what they call it. Bullshit. <laughs> that's, I think that's the one. So that's actually a really bad that's experience to share because that could literally have been anything. But that's just recent, so I'm scared the crap out of me. I got a little theory for you. What if that was a lady who was killed while she was doing the dishes? That's what I'm saying. And now she keeps coming back She's to doing the dishes. That's what I'm saying. Dishes. I think you can exploit this and you, you'll never have to do dishes again. <laughs> yeah, you can actually have her clean your whole apartment. Leave you don't your need... dirty dishes there. Oh my god. Yeah. Next day, see if they come That's out. That's genius. Home. That's a good point. If you leave a good tip, maybe she'll start doing the rest of the, yeah. Right. the place. Yeah, just yeah. leave out everything to make cookies and see yeah. what happens by morning. I'm going to yeah. leave out my clothes. They're yeah. ironed and hung yeah. up when I come home. <laughs> yeah. like, what is this? Best ghost ever. He's like a little French maid outfit. Well, whatever. Feather. Well, just yeah. be like walk. I won't be able to see an apparition. It's just <laughs> walk walk French maid Yeah. I just see the duster, <laughs> disembodied, <laughs> cleaning my TV. Like oh, that's weird. I don't know. So anyway, yeah. All that to say, all that really lame paranormal story. I have other ones that are not as lame. But what do you? What do you guys take on the whole paranormal thing? Do you guys believe in it at all? Or what would you, okay, Bort, let's start with you, you're, you're shaking well, your head. The thing is, I don't, I've never seen anything that's been so strange as to make me think there can't be something real to have made it happen. Mm. And sometimes I'll see things that are like real things that happen that I think are cooler than the paranormal stories. Like, um, a couple days ago, I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, like bolted up right out of bed, like, mm. with like an immediate like fear panic response. Mm. Didn't really think anything about it, went back to sleep, but then checked. Uh, somebody on Facebook had posted, did anyone hear that thunderclap like two days ago or whatever it was that woke everybody up mm. at like two o'clock in the morning. Found out a whole bunch of my friends had all gotten waken up by the same thing. So it was yeah. just this weird coincidence from like, oh, so that, that, that's cooler that, than thinking yeah. that maybe you were abducted, being abducted by aliens. No, that can't aliens be. That's, cool. that's not cooler. Aliens, yeah. mm -hmm. We all were woken up when like yeah. some dumpster fell. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How is that? That's <laughs> not cooler. <laughs> Come on, Bor. Yeah. Well, okay. Cooler. If you don't want to do that one, then how about uh? <laughs> oh, I got another. He's one. got a lot of Spook, okay. spooky Next motion one. across distance. The Einstein theory mm. of quantum entanglement, where something oh, can boy. cause another thing to move without actually touching it. Mm. You lost me after. Spooky. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, what? I checked out after Einstein. Uh, okay. <coughs> well, all okay. I'm saying, it sounds like a soul song, but it's actually. Can you can you say it again in layman's terms? So you so you think you everything can be explained? I'm not even saying that paranormal stuff. I, this is would be our, my argument. I'm not saying paranormal stuff is truly paranormal, like unexplainable. Mm -hmm. It just may be things like you were saying in science that we don't understand yet. Like, what if what if there is some kind of energy we don't understand that I don't know. Or follow, like when we die, is it is it over? Is there, yeah, is there that could be scientific? Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. no. it's, it's he doesn't like much, that. It's pretty much done. Like I've never yeah, seen the ghost of a chicken. You've and, never well, seen it. You've never seen it. Mean. Yeah. I actually. You know, well, you've also never seen the ghost of a real person either. Right. So yeah, but not saying true. something doesn't mean it exists. Not seeing something doesn't mean it exists. Of course not. <laughs> like I haven't yeah. seen a unicorn either, and unicorns don't exist. Probably. You put it probably there. They could because I can't be everywhere, yeah, so I can't yeah, like exactly. empirically say. But the thing is, is yeah. I don't think there are any ghosts. I just don't think it's a thing. Like I don't think it's like, mm. you know. Okay. I mean, it's a chemical reaction, and it ends, and it's so important to like have a real connection with people when they're mm. here, mm. simply because once they're not here, they're not here. Mm. So you take down, so you guys. take no afterlife or nothing like that <laughs> as a positive thing that we should yeah. connect with the people that we love yeah. right now here on Earth. Enjoy yeah, it. lives now. But now, here's the moment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Boo. No, that was good. No, that was good. That's a good way to put it, though. That's, that's more, I, I get annoyed when the people that are like straight up like, mm, no, it's dumb. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I'll still enjoy I'm open minded movie. to if it. If it's in a movie, yeah. like I'm willing to like go, oh, I'll forget science. Like if it's poltergeist, right. I'm like, okay, that whole building's like vanishing into a point of light, that's badass. Or the guy's sure. face is melting, that's crazy. But Patrick Swayze talking to Whoopi Goldberg, great, great stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, you that's like that. based no. on fact. That, that's a real yeah. movie. Yeah. That's a documentary. That's a story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, keep, I keep waiting for him to do the sequel. Mm -hmm. Except, well, he's, he's, he's actually a ghost, ghost this ghost. time. <laughs> yeah. What about all right, well, what about you two? That's Boris' take. Uh, I got a whole side of like, there's like it's like a pocket of a family specifically that they really believe in it. Oh, I want to meet these and people. They, yeah, and they and they have this thing where um, there's a girl that follows them. So they moved around a lot their whole life. Oh, this and, is um, the shit I love. And every oh god, time, I'm getting shells already. Every single time they Hold me a new house. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about a little girl always hanging out in the backyard just watching them. And here's, oh, god. here's the shitty part is uh, <laughs> the house we live in now, they used to live in. They moved out and and we moved in like maybe like almost 20 years ago, so I was yeah. I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah. So coming into that house, I was always 
get scared. Oh, yeah. I'm like, the little girl's back there. I don't even want nothing to do with this. Um, but I've never had anything like too bad, like real right. scary that yeah. it's happened to me. But they, you have had something. No, well, I've, I've, I've gotten scared, but yeah. it ended up being something totally else. Like, so I was, my back, my uh, my room has like a window, a huge window, and it and it leads to like the backyard kind of driveway because our garage is in the back. Mm -hmm. So there's a driveway right there, and um, I always used to leave it open while I was playing on the Xbox, and it's dark as hell, so you can't see out. Uh, but you get like a cool breeze coming in, it was awesome. And then uh, we had these uh, motion lights that turn on whenever something passes by. And uh, one time, the light turned on, and I looked over, and it, and it turned off like pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was like a split second where I thought I saw like an outline of someone, and I was like, what the hell is that? So I, got, oh, kinda, I, got, I kinda got up to the window and I'm kinda looking and I think I hear something like breathing or something. I'm not sure what it is. Oh God. And I'm looking, I'm staring, I'm staring. <laughs> and then oh, God. the light turns on and there's a dude <laughs> standing there. Oh my there. God. <laughs> what? And I, oh, I would have lost dude, it. Dude, I shrieked. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. I was like, you ah. shriek. You sounded like a bald <laughs> eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Wow. Okay. I don't know if that's a bald eagle. That's either. Either. So yeah. it, <laughs> what is the deal? What, what is this dude doing back there? So yeah. it turns out the the not not the person that lives next to me, but the neighbor next to them, they have a son that was like he was this crazy guy. He was always doing drugs, he was always stealing. And yeah. he was always hopping over people's fences to get to his place. And apparently he was high on something and he just kind of zoned out and was standing in our driveway. Just there. Mm -hmm. And it, apparently he's in it to other people, but this is the first and only time it's ever happened to That's us. That's so crazy. Yeah, we called, wow. I, I like yelled at my dad and we, we called the cops. And That's so funny. I wonder how many paranormal experiences were just some really <laughs> high dude on drugs. Because <laughs> like, like, it would have been just yeah, like sense. one time happened in your neighborhood. That yeah. would be a legendary story in your yeah, family right. of this dude <laughs> just standing like staring <laughs> at my window. Yeah. He it's was, like, you're done for. He was just standing there and I, I, was, I, got, I got so scared and we called the cops and the cops came and picked him up and that's when we got, that's when the neighbor told us that yeah, yeah he's mm -hmm. been in and out of jail, he's been in like halfway houses, he's always doing drugs and he's always jumping, jumping old people. I mean, my go-to thing would just get like a hose and just spray him <laughs> down. Just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like an animal. Porch. <laughs> off the porch. Get off my <laughs> Get a broom and just kind of <laughs> chase him off yeah. with the broom. Pull out the shotgun. Just get a broom and a garbage can and just yeah. start banging. <laughs> I, and I, I've seen this guy walking around several times like after that, I just, Okay. And I'm like, yeah, it's that guy. And he was tall, dark dude, real, real skinny. Mm, so it's almost wow. like Slender Man. Like, oh, mm. God, not uh, Slender. Yeah, so that. that so it wasn't really, it wasn't actually no, paranormal. But you this is more the Borf side way. where Borf would be like, see, everything's explainable. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. That was But scary. you know what, motherfucker, not everything's explainable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. There can't be. True. I'm one of those people that need not everything to be explained. Well, I mean, I need the mystery. As close Don't as take you, it from As close as you get to an answer, you'll never really know the truth. Well, that's true. Wow, that's neat. never. Even if you do have some kind of scientific explanation for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, eventually. There's always, yeah. there's always room there's for always doubt. Right? There's always subdividing. Yeah. Right, there's yeah. always room for doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kunal? What's your take I'm, on that? Well, have you had experiences on any of that? I did, but it was so long ago, you start to Ooh. wonder if you've oh, just no. kind of recreated the story in oh, a way that makes tell. it scarier than it actually is. <laughs> or it was just you coming home from a drunk stupor. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was, I was like 11 years old. So I didn't start drinking that early. started young. He's like, it was 12, granted, but. I went, here's the thing, I'm from New Hampshire, and uh, one of my friends, supposedly he said there was a Native American burial ground where his house was built. Oh, jeez. Like, long ago. And me and a friend were staying at this kid's place for like a sleepover, well, again, 11 or 12 years old. And we were going to his bedroom to sleep for the night. We were all passing out. Mm. And he has a, a dog. And the dog kept coming into the bedroom. And uh, we were trying to sleep, so we kept taking the dog back out. And eventually it got so uh, annoying, we were like, screw this, we're closing the door, we're locking the door. And there's no way to unlock the door from the, right. the other side. Uh -huh. And every once, like we, every 15 minutes, we keep hearing this like pawing. So the owner of the house, the friend, he opens the door getting frustrated, opens the door. The dog isn't there anymore. So he closes it, he locks it again, we go back to sleep. We, we hear again the pawing, the, the clawing at the door again, we're clawing, and then he, again, this is like going on for a while, so he gets frustrated, opens the door, looks out, dog's not there, closes, locks it again, and then finally the panting and the clawing goes again. This time the door unlocks, and the door opens. Oh my god. What? And there's no dog again. What? what? There's no dog, 
and me and my friend were sleeping on the floor, the and we freaked out. We just jumped into the bed. The other guy were like, I don't care. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Holy shit. We don't know where the dog was. We looked around. It wasn't there for, for the rest of that day. We didn't even like explore. We just stayed in that room. We were just like, fuck it. Jeez. Put the sheets over us and passed the fuck out. Wow, that's terrifying. Yeah, that yeah. would have, oh. Mm. It's spooked and, for this. And thing. again, the door unlocked from yeah, from a way yeah, that it's not yeah, supposed it to be able to do there's that. There's no way it could have been unlocked from out the other side of the door. Huh. So that's mm, the wow. one thing that kind of just said, all right, there's something going on here that's not normal. That is weird. You yeah. know, the, the other 16, 17 years of my life, no issues. Yeah. So I don't know, hmm. but I still just, kind of just had still... a, a vague memory of a ghost dog when you were like 12. Ghost dog, yeah, that's the one thing. Explain, uh, explain that one, Borth, by yeah, science, please. Real quick. Love the scientific ghost explanation. Ghost dog. Well, ghost dogs. <laughs> Go. I'm kidding. Ghost I'm kidding. dogs? Well, you know, he's you a child. I mean, I, Forrest Whitaker movie. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. No, I mean, movie. I've had, like, even my mom's side of the family, I would bring up, like, I forget, one time I was talking about paranormal stuff, and my aunt and my uncle, who I never, who have never talked about this stuff, their ears perked up, and they're like, we're you talking about, like, ghosts? And I was like, yeah, they're like, growing up, this is what I found out later, my mom was not a part of this, but... Uh, they had shared a lot of siblings, so they all shared a room. And my aunt uh, and my uncle, uh, and I think two of the other girls, they were all in this one room when they were younger. And they used to have this experience where, like, night after night, they would uh, they would wake up and they would feel their covers being pulled, being pulled off the bed. And like, and then sometimes, and then sometimes it would even be pulled like it would. They were being held down by yeah. by the by the covers. And they would all, and then they would like wake up and they would freak out and they would all like talk about what had just happened. And they would tell, they would tell my grandparents, my grandparents would be like, "Stop it! You guys are having weird dreams." But they would talk about it amongst themselves, and they're like, "No, we're not crazy. This is three of it's us talking happens. about different things happening all at the same time, like to us." So I was like, and they were like, they were like, they never recovered. They always joke mm-hmm. about it, how like it still scars them to this day. They have no idea what it was. They yeah. just assumed it was someone, some haunting. They were like, they thought it was a ghost. Yeah, maybe. They just had to deal weird. with it. And there is also one more thing I will never mess with. I've never messed with a Ouija board ever, and I would no. never because I've had enough, heard enough stories from people that have messed with those. And I know, like, some people will like swear, like, it doesn't work. I tried it over and over. Other people I talked to were like, that thing fucking moved, and it spelled something out, and it was like, I'm never doing it again. But I got like, I was fascinated one like two years ago with it, and I started reading like stories online of like people's experiences, and that shit like so much, so many problems that people had later in their lives with paranormal experiences started. They were all like, it all started with a Ouija board. I let yeah. whatever the spirit was I contacted something and at first it was all playful and it would write like funny words and they were like then it got more demanding and more demanding and more demanding what? and it like yeah. would start literally taking like taking over their lives and it wouldn't leave them alone so no. anyway uh, that's I know I know I don't even want to touch that I would no. never I would never touch I don't know. it that's a that's a group involved game though right yeah. mm-hmm. so I never really trust the other people that are involved well that's true too like someone oh, else yeah, is just yeah, kind of yeah. like oh my god it's moving this way but he's actually using his exactly. hand to lead it you, exactly. you, you can't do it by yourself yeah. I think you can do a can Ouija you do? I think oh. you can do a Ouija word by yourself I don't know uh, maybe not I think, never, I I think that would be weird yeah mm-hmm. but it's also just because I, I won't do it because it's basically the scrabble of the spirit world the scrabble of the spirit world that's true point yeah. yeah, well, I don't know. Anyway, I know a lot of people are, uh, I just need, I, I realize I need, it's, I need paranormal stuff to exist because I'm a weak person. And that's mm-hmm. it. That's what I need. Does that transcend need... the towards aliens and Bigfoot yeah. and all those oh, things? Oh, totally. Oh, oh I love, I, I, th- I think it's foolish to think aliens don't exist. What do you think about that? Oh. The universe is so big. No, I mean, yeah. If you get down to it, the that's aliens what they do you. exist somewhere. Right. Yeah. Not here, not within mm-hmm. a distance we would understand them. But it doesn't necessarily mean they're like big eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Large yeah. creatures. There's, well, well there's, a whole, like there's a whole like calculation some guy did where, you yeah. know, they're probably aliens, but they're probably like, you know, parameciums. Mm. You know, yeah, like they that. might be jellyfish when you get there. Oh, right, right. Yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, nothing like exciting like little green men. Or no, no, like anal probes green or men or whatever. Like Martians. Martians. No. no. Yeah. yeah. No anal probes. No anal probes. Were you excited for that? No. 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 You're hoping for those? No. no. Mondo's no. really down. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the uh, well, and real quick, uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. I watched. There's a really good History Channel. Um, I don't think it's a Monster Quest. I think it's a documentary on it. They tried to disprove the the original. Was it 1960? I forget what year it is. Whatever the the. the mm-hmm. The marquee Bigfoot yeah. footage, yeah. and they literally they they bring it to the lab. They do all these tests. They do how tall it was, how big the guy in a suit would have had to been, what the gate was. They can't disprove it. They try to disprove it, and it's, they're not saying that it's true mm-hmm. that it was literally Bigfoot, but they're like, the way he was walking, they were just like, and, and how good the suit was. They're like, this is like not like sp- right. advanced special effects that we have now. Yeah. It's like this is pretty pretty damn convincing. 
if it was, you know. Why so. is every, like, all the footage that they show of that creature, yeah. though, is always really, really shitty. Mm -hmm. Like, even in modern day, whenever yeah. someone sees Bigfoot, at right. the age of HD yeah. cameras. Is there, is it, has yeah. there wow. been, like, footage there's surface been, recently? There's been modern footage, there? too, and it's all I know the, the last thing, the last big thing I remember seeing was yeah. someone claiming to have killed Bigfoot. And yeah. There was, there was that image of... Bigfoot stuffed yep. into like a, in a big box. freezer. Yep, I remember that, that. Turned out to be like a costume, and they just yeah. threw like some yeah. animal guts in there. Just want attention. I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't necessarily like. I don't think like if Bigfoot existed, it wouldn't be like my. To me, it wouldn't be mind blowing. I just, I mean, I think it's ridiculous. Well, I mean, I don't think that, that we have at? never have found a carcass. Where, where yeah. is he at? We're like, where is he supposed like the? Who knows? There's different like versions of the different cultures. Yeah. So it's always big hairy man. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that in the age of like YouTube with like YouTube Somewhere. money, everyone like does a hoax and puts oh, it yeah. online, it's, and it's just oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you though, I, you look very skeptical. Watch that History Channel doc. I'm telling you, they get some respected people in there who break it down and are like, they just can't disprove it totally. That's that's really the only thing. So I don't yeah. know. Well, I mean, that's I'd a like to think that scientific exists. process. Okay, you know, I believe in it all. You know why not? Yeah. You want to believe? I want to. I do. I want to believe. Yeah. X file me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we can do that. That's all I got. Well, yeah. I'm Good. done eating. Good. Good. Yeah, Is that it? Full. We're just gonna talk about paranormal stuff for our lunch break. That's what we just did. Yeah. Should, I kind of like that. It was yeah. fun. Swing. Should, should, we, should we tell anybody about this? Or? Oh yeah. <laughs> don't tell. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely don't tell anyone about my opinions okay. on the paranormal because yeah. I'll get laughed at. <laughs> It'll be very embarrassing. Keep that secret. Okay. So. I'm cone of silence. As you guys, as far as you're concerned, I'm a hardened atheist who doesn't believe in anything but science. <laughs> Got it. Okay? okay. Clear? That's true. Good. That's okay. the story we're sticking Thank to. Thank you. Good. All right. All right. Good lunch. See you guys. Yep. See you. Bye. Yep. Bye. What is up, guys? Don't answer that. Jim with these here. Starting off at 10 is my gamer tag, bro. Some more Black Ops 2. This is slow scoping. This is called. Ah!